In this exercise we're going to learn how to use Model Builder. So first we're going to go to World Climb and we're going to go to Current Conditions and we want to go to Generic Grids and we want to go Bioclimb 1 to 9 and 10 to 18. So we're going to click on that. Then we want to go to 411 on the grid and download the bioclimbs for New Zealand. There will be 18, you'll need to unzip them. We're going to open a new map and we're going to make it a new blank map. Now the first thing we do is right click on layers, go to properties and we're going to change the coordinate system. So geographic coordinate system world WGS84. Now we're going to add the New Zealand coastline file, NZ coast underscore NZTM shape file. Okay, now we're going to define the projection, or well, actually, no, we're going to convert the projection by going to transformations and we want to go from GCS NZGD 2000 to GCS WGS 1984. You get to that the same way you get to the um, projections. Okay now we want to add our bioclimb raster files. Add them all at once and we are then going to open the model builder window by clicking on the little icon with the three squares. Okay and we want to open our search window, type define projection and we're going to click and drag that define projection onto the model builder window. We're going to right mouse click on define projection, make variable from perimeter, input data set or feature class. Great, so we've got that oval come up on the left hand side. Then we're going to select all of our bioclimb data and we're going to drag it into the input data set oval. Okay, we're going to go make variable from perimeter coordinate system. Here we want to set the coordinate system. We're going to double click, you can move it all around, but we're going to double click the coordinate system. And we're going to make that WGS1984. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is search for clip and once that comes up we're going to click and drag that into the model builder window. Then we want to join the output data set oval to the clip so there's a connect icon that you can use and we want to input raster. 